today I'm going to do a modified lip product declutter. I had originally tried last week to film a lipstick declutter and then I realized that as I was going that oh this is a lip product declutter because I had lip glosses and uh, liquid lipsticks aside from just traditional bullet lipsticks. And as I sat down to film I realized there were a lot of things that made it really difficult for me. Uh, okay, let's just start from the very beginning. Oh my god, there's so many. I don't know where to start. Ah, I love them all. Yes. Yes. Yes! Look at it! Look at it! The color that they created in, in uh, collaboration with uh, Lily Singh. This is the color that they... This is the color that they created. Ooh, crap. No man, no You have to have a lid. Okay, so I didn't really declutter anything so far. This is going so badly. Oh, lipstick on my hand. I'm gonna put it pretty close to- Ow! Don't bite me! He bit my, my heel. But they are in the same color family. Don't bite me! Look at that. Hello, cat. The cat is really, really getting tired of me just talking and talking and talking. Hey, cat then. Hey, cat then. You research. No. Look at that book. Look at that book. Yes, sir. Yes, oh. The drawer is shaking because I'm petting the cat. Keep this one and I'm, in, well, I'm... So as I was doing this declutter, I realized that this is not going as seamlessly as I had hoped. So like I said, this is a modified lipstick slash lip product declutter. So here are the 15 lip products that I am considering decluttering or just using up. And my plan is to swatch them so you can see what they look like on the lips. It will also give me an extra opportunity to, you know, quickly evaluate and see are they worth keeping or not. Of the 15 lip products that are in the doghouse, three of them are liquid lipsticks, two of them are glosses, and the rest are traditional bullet lipsticks. So the first one is the Kogendo lip gloss in the color PK303. It's a pretty sparkly pink and sparkly lip gloss so it's pink with gold uh reflex in it you can't really tell i'm sure on camera but it's a pretty color i'll swatch it as well i have an eyeliner swatch which i apologize for there we go it's a pretty gloss i have 11 glosses in my collection in total if i include the, the two that are in this doghouse uh i'm not that much of a lip gloss person I think I have to become more of a lip gloss person because, you know, lip glosses, they look nice. They look juicy. They look <laughs> pouty. My tactic will be to maybe have a reminder in my phone to reapply. For some reason, I don't have a problem remembering to reapply bullets, bullet lipsticks, but lip glosses are just... I don't know why. It feels like it should be the other way around. So the next product is this one from Canmake. It's a gloss called Your Lips Only or Your Lip Only, sorry. So it's a clear gloss um but once it's on your skin it turns slightly more pink oh let's also swatch this one yeah you can't even see it so there's that one it's pretty the next color is a mac lipstick and the color nifty neon my friend gave this to me or actually she had it in her collection and we do this thing where if i have a product that i bought and then fallen out of love with i can send it to her if i think it'll suit her and vice versa. She is not cruelty free, whereas the things I buy are cruelty free, which means that I will have a few things in my collection that are not cruelty free, either because I bought them so long ago or that she sent them to me. I feel it would be unsustainable to just throw it out and it doesn't make sense for me either to pretend like I don't have the products because that to me is very, oh, I have no idea what the English word is, but the Swedish word is huyenhelig and I don't want to be that. Okay, anyway, so. <laughs> Um, I don't know. My teeth get really yellow. Mm, 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 no, it's so cool, but it doesn't, it doesn't suit me and it really makes me sad. So anyway, Nifty Neon. 
Okay, moving on to my one of my oldest lipsticks, and it's a Lancome lipstick. Again, not cruelty free, but I bought this so long ago. I don't even know if they make this packaging anymore. <laughs> There's, There's this much left. That's not a lot. Um, I should just put it in a handbag and you know use it. It's a very sheer beige with slight shimmer. So it's not like it's difficult to use. I love the smell of Lancome lipsticks. Why are you not cruelty free? Anyway, okay. Yeah, I, I have to keep it. Oh shit. Oh no. I have to redo my swatches. God darn it. I didn't even swatch the Nifty Neon, but I'll swatch the ones I'm keeping. Okay, so I redo the other swatches. Kogendo, um, Can Make, and then Lancome 259. Can you see that? Yeah, just a beige, a beige color. Okie dokes. This is from Too Faced. It's the color Nude Beach. Not that much left of this one either. A very similar color to that Lancome one but without the glitter. Very, 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 very comfortable on the lips. Feels very moisturizing. Does not dry my lips out at all. Yeah, so it's slightly, i say it's a slightly pinker than the Lancome one. But again, a very pretty color. I really love this one. Also, again, helvete, this piece jävla skit och mög då. Sorry, I just had a long swearing rant in Swedish because I keep rubbing my hands together and I keep screwing up my swatches. Right, moving into three NARS lipsticks. This is one of the three NARS Audacious lipsticks that I have. Oh, when, when NARS decided to not be cruelty-free anymore, oh, I was so disappointed. So let's start with the first one. This is NARS Anita. Let's swatch it first. It's a mauve pink, maybe? Yeah, I like the color. I like, I think I like how it looks on me, but I realized that for some reason I never gravitate towards these lipsticks. I'm not sure why. That's why I put them in the, in the doghouse because I really want to remember to use them so I can evaluate them more because I mean, there's nothing wrong with this color. Why am I not using it? I don't know. So that was Anita. And then let's take the lightest one, which is Raquel. I guess it's kind of similar to nothing. So this one is like a pale beige, a beigey pink maybe. Again, there's nothing wrong with this color. Why am I, why do I, why do I just not remember to use it? I, I, I don't know. I wore it a few years ago at like some event and I had this one and then I had a lip liner from MAC. <sighs> not cruelty free. Mac's being, MAC not being cruelty free is probably one of the most annoying non cruelty free companies of them all. If you think about their old campaign, makeup is for humans, not animals or whatever that was. But anyway, so I wore this one with MAC Half Red and then the Kogendo Gloss. And it, I remember feeling like it looked really, really good. And now that I'm like talking and letting it, you know, settle, I, I like it. I think I might keep this one. I think this one is closer to being kept than the Anita one, actually. And then the final NARS Audacious is this one. This is the color Brigitte. This was the first one I bought. <laughs> and I remember thinking, oh, it's like Brigitte Bardot. It's like a warmer pink somehow. Yeah, I think this is the, this is the first one I bought and it's also the one that I feel the least inclined to keep. I'll keep it for a bit longer. Maybe? Maybe it's nice actually. Oh gosh. Moving on to Bite Beauty Multi Stick. It's in the doghouse because Bite Beauty I think has mainly food grade products and I don't want to wait too long to use it because it'll go off. Yeah, that was inexpertly applied. <laughs> It's a very nice, let's see, it's a brownie red, I guess, called Cashew. It's also a really nice blush. It's, slightly, it's more like a contoury blush because it's so dark. I really like it both as a lipstick and as a blush. It's not going anywhere, it's staying. Vintage Pink from Rimmel. This is an oldie. 
It's a really pretty, um, let's swatch it first. It's a really pretty mauvey pink, like a pretty dark mauve, very purpley pink. Super comfortable. Feels very, 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 very hydrating. It's very similar in feel to the Too Faced one. Mm. Oh, it's so comfortable. It feels very vampy, very fall, even though it's a very light pinky purple. So yeah, I'm keeping it. I have to use it. This one is in the doghouse because I have to use it soon because it's that old. Another color from my friend that she sent me. This is from Chanel. It's the color, I think it's, it's number 17 and I think it's Escapade in French and in English it's Desert Rose. It's a um, metallic sheeny orange. It's not this bright on the lips. It's a sheeny orange, relatively sheer. I like it. I haven't used it as much as I should but it's still in the doghouse because I have to use it. Moving on to another non-cruelty-free item. Chanel is non-cruelty-free, Rimmel is not cruelty free And now we also have Wet n' Wild. This was a disappointment to many in the cruelty-free community when Wet n' Wild decided to stop being cruelty-free. This is the color Red Velvet. This is also sent to me by my friend. So there we have it. It's a pinky red, I want to say. Yeah, it's a pinky red. It's a pretty color. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Okay, this is why I saved the darkest colors for last because you can see my lips are getting stained now. And the darkest colors happen to be liquid lipsticks. So let's start with Viva La Diva in Strawberry, also sent to me by my friend. The color is really nice. Let's swatch it first. There we go. It's, I think it's like a blue toned red. Yeah, a blue toned red, slightly pink. Thing is, it smells so strongly of synthetic strawberry and it's very dry. It's a beautiful color, beautiful color. I don't know, man, it's so dry, it's so dry. You know what, honestly, I love the color. Viva La Diva is cruelty free. I wore it yesterday and it, really lasted well. It was like difficult to get off. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I'm putting it in the declutter pile. I'm going to see if someone might like to try it. I have a few people in mind. Uh. <laughs> Ow. Okay, I had to actually remove that last one with a makeup remover. <laughs> so I look slightly different around the mouth. Uh, the next color to check out is this NYX Liquid Suede in the color Sway. I love this color so much. It's so pretty. I, I adore it. But it's starting to smell. I decluttered another one of these and it stank. It stank. With this look, it looks uh, not the best. Wow, okay, it doesn't look this bad, IRL. I swear to you. There's a color anyway, the color swatch. I think I'm gonna have to use it one day soon just to see. I can tell my teeth are getting a little yellow in this light. So, you know, maybe it's just time to be clear, but I love it so much. Also, the liquid suedes are very comfortable for being liquid lipsticks. They're comfortable. They're maybe not the most long lasting, but they're at least you can get them off. And the final color that's in the doghouse is this color from Nabla in the shade Narcotic. It's a dark navy blue. I'm gonna start by swatching it, actually. I mean, it's it looks almost black. Oh, I love the smell. Ah, not the most perfect lip line. Oh God, oh God, just stop. Stop when you're ahead. No, it's crooked. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, don't panic. In the words of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, don't panic. Wow, that's a, that's a villain lip right there. Okay, so a little more foundation to the rescue. It went way overboard. So there we go. The dark blue on my teeth. Those are all the lip products that 
are or were in the doghouse. The one I'm wearing right now, I honestly think it will leave the doghouse and be put in the keep because just wearing it, I feel so badass. And the feeling of badassery is a good feeling to have. Rightio! So there is my modified lip product declutter. Two more products have left the collection. One has entered the collection and left the doghouse. And we have 12 left to evaluate during the coming weeks and months. Maybe one or two of them will enter a project pan. I am going to drink my tea now. I'm an old lady, so I cannot have caffeinated tea after four o'clock. Off to drink some tea and as usual, find a cookie or an ice cream.